Okay, we're going to do a quick intro here to box modeling. Um, so I just have an empty Maya file right here. I see I'm in uh, polygons menu option right here, and I'm on my polygons tab. I'm going to start by just creating a cube. The, the idea of box modeling is you start with a cube, and then you sort of create uh, an entire object out of that. We're going we're gonna to be building a spaceship really quickly. So I'm going to start by creating my cube, something like that drag up okay so I have my cube and I actually want to see the um, I'm in the outline right now but I want to see the faces so I'm gonna click on here so I can see the faces so here is here's my cube scroll around it here and um, I'm going to do what's called extrude faces of this cube so that I can build out my spaceship um, and we want this to be symmetrical on both sides so as we ex extrude we're actually going to select multiple faces and extrude out of there. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to right click here, choose face. So that's what I select. I'm going to select one face, hold down shift, select the other. So I have both these faces selected, and I'm going to come up to edit mesh here and choose extrude. This will give me the extrude tool, and with the extrude tool, I can click one of these arrows and I can pull this out. So I'm, this is sort of the beginning of the body of my spaceship. I can also, I want this to be swept back a little bit, so I'm going to sweep that back a little bit, and maybe I'll even actually pull it out a little bit more. Okay, that's good, and actually I want to extrude this again, so I've got this one section, so with these two faces still selected, again come up <coughs> to edit mesh, extrude, and I can just repeat the process, and these are going to be my wings. So I'm going to come in here and with these I'm going to, whoops, click on the right one, whoops, click on this guy, scale, start scaling down the body of my craft, and then I'm going to one more time edit mesh extrude and kind of pull out my wings here. Okay. And that's pretty good. And so with, uh, I just do want to continue the, the sort of swept back feeling of those two wings. So I'm going to click away here, right click, excuse me, and choose, uh, we'll just go with vertex. And we're going to click and drag over here, select those, I'm going to hold down shift, click and drag over here. And then I'm going to hit the W key so I can move those back. And do select these, select these, hit the W key move those back. All right. So I have the beginnings of my spaceship here. Now I want to continue sort of with the uh, front part of the spaceship. So I'm going to select face mode, hold down shift, select these three faces, under edit mesh, extrude, bring this forward. I'm uh, going to scale this down a little bit. Going to also start to sort of taper it off. Maybe bring it out a little bit more this down even more okay edit mesh extrude bring it out quite a bit scale this down scale this down and we'll do this one more time edit mesh extrude bring this out Bring this in, and we'll really sort of scale this down. This will be sort of a this will be sort of the front part of the ship, okay? And then I want uh, a little bit of uh, exhaust here, so I'm going to select. So we want some engines on here. Edit mesh extrude. Pull this out. It's kind of the beginnings of the back of ship and then I'm going to select just these two again holding down shift edit mesh extrude and bring these out and these will be our sort of engines and let's actually rotate these a little bit so I can rotate those and we're going to have to select these separately from one another to do the rotate so I'm going to rotate that one so like just this one hit E for rotate and rotate that one out. Okay. 
So that's kind of the, the basics of our spaceship. And um, I want to see what this would look like if it was smooth. So I'm going to hit the 2 key. Okay, and the 2 key gives me an example of uh, the surfaces being smooth. And, and I look at this and at first glance this looks okay, but I notice there's a, there's a couple things that um, are too smooth. For instance, the way this exhaust is looking, these engines are too smooth right here. Also, with these wings, um, the edge of this wing is too smooth, this transition is too smooth. I want those to be sharper. So how do I do that? Well, <clears throat> the way I do that is by adding in edge loops. And if I come here to edit mesh, and I can do insert edge loop. So where I want those, those sort of smooth transitions to be sharper, I'm just gonna add edge loop. So I'm just gonna click right here, and that's gonna add another edge right there, and it's gonna, you can see how it sharpens that. And I'm gonna do that to the end, edge of the wing too. So by doing that, now I have a much sharper wing. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oops, let's zoom in. And do this right. Add an edge loop right here. I'm going to add an edge loop right here. And you can see that sharpens things up quite a bit. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing here and here and here and here. So now our engines are a little bit, they're not quite as smooth. Okay, this is a pretty decent beginning for our uh, spaceship there. Um, I actually wanna do a little bit of a cockpit. So I'm gonna click right here to do an edge loop down the center of this. And um, I'm gonna, by doing that, I have some additional faces right now, I have additional polygons. So I'm gonna come here to select faces. Oops, 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 I'm still in the edge loop tool there. I'm gonna click faces. I just undid that, adding that extra edge loop. Select this one, select this one, select this one, select this one. So those four faces selected. This is going to be my cockpit. Now I'm going to come up to um, Edit Mesh, Extrude. Bring this out. And I'm going to click here to give me that middle shrinking thing and do that. And I'm actually going to extrude maybe one more time. And then I'm really going to shrink this one up to really kind of do a smooth cockpit there. Now, um, again, I'm I'm hit the two key so I can see everything smooth. If I hit the one key, I can go back and see what it looks like uh, just the straight polygons. And my poly, my my cockpit maybe is a little bit big there, so I'm going to do select vertex, select those guys, hit the W key, and bring this cockpit down a little bit. Okay. And maybe I just want to do some really quick coloring. So I'm going to select the faces again. Oops, don't want to, don't want to do that. I want to click and hold down shift. And those are all my cockpit faces right there. And I'm going to assign a new material to those guys. Let's make it a blend. And let's make the color black. Okay. So I click away now. I can see that's black. And maybe for the exhaust on my engines, these two, hold down shift here. Let's just assign a new material to them. We'll make this a, make this a blend as well. And we'll just give it a, a deep red color there. So uh, we have a little bit of exhaust. So here's uh, my spaceship. I'm gonna, so I hit the one key to show the non-smooth view. I'm gonna hit two again so I can see it in smooth, smooth, smooth view. And I wanna render this out. So I'm going to click here to render the current frame. Okay, and I notice it doesn't make it smooth and I wanna see what it looks like smooth. So I'm gonna change this to metal, mental ray and going to click this again to sort of redo the render and I can see that's makes it smooth. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and do the render again. There we go. 
And so if I wanted to uh, save out that image, I could save it out as whatever I wanted. I might make that a ping, save it out to wherever I wanted to save it. And then maybe we'll just uh, do one more from the back so we could see that the engine exhaust under that frame out, you know, and again, if I wanted to save it. So, um, and obviously we didn't do any lighting on this at all, so that's why uh, all the lighting looks really flat on here. Um, if uh, if we added lights to the scene, you know, we it would it would look differently. But that's sort of the basics of bo box modeling. Box modeling used all the time. You just start with a, a cube and you build out from there. And um, hopefully that helps out.